hope you've all had a great day today. Today, I have the pleasure of unboxing for you round two meds for our thaw cycle. So today is cycle day two for me. Um, and I went and picked up my medication from the same pharmacy that we used last time, which was Apothecary by Design. If um, you'd like to see the meds for a, a round one, like the full shebang of IVF, um, that is our, our second video, um, and it's in the IVF playlist, um, our IVF journey, and it, like I said, it's the second video um, for the med tall. This is a much scaled down um, version of meds because we've already created the embryos and we're going to be implanting, um, I, I say that with faith, we're going to be transferring um, our remaining two embryos. So two is apparently a theme and I hope that it continues to be a theme throughout this journey. But I wanted to share with you the medications that I got and also just kind of to let you know a few things that I found out by chance um, about them when I went and got them. Also give you a price breakdown of what the medication costs retail as well as uh, what it costs with our insurance copay. So I have two, dis two different estrogens that um, I, will be, I will be taking that I actually have just started taking today. Um, the first is a pill, um, and it's a it's a very tiny tablet. I'm happy to say there is um, there's no pain in, in this part of the IVF journey. Um, come up close so that you can see. It's a tiny little green pill. I guess it looks kind of blue on the screen, but it's tiny and green. So um, that is two milligrams, and I'm going to be taking. Um, one in the morning and one in the evening every day. Um, the other estrogen that I have is an estradiol uh, transdermal system, which means it's a patch. Um, this is what my box looks like, and it delivers 0.1 milligrams every day. Um, this patch is put on uh, and changed every 72 hours. So, um, apparently it is put below the waistline, not at the waist, not on your chest, not on your vagina, the direction said. So remember that, and most importantly, remember not to put the patch on your face. So, apparently it's been done before. Um, if they had to write that warning. Um, so I, I did put on the patch earlier. I tried to kind of film a, um, a video of that and I'll insert it here. So now I've just moved the car to uh, the Trader Joe's parking lot kind of across the street so that I don't have someone staring at me <laughs> while I put on this patch. Um, which she indicated that I needed to go ahead and do because I was supposed to start taking this medicine yesterday. Goodness gracious. Okay, maybe that works. All right, so. Unboxing. Okay, this is what it comes in. 0. It delivers 0. 0.1 milligrams a day. So, apply immediately upon removal from pouch. Do not store unpouched. Makes sense. All right, so, because it wants it below the waistline, but not at the waistline, I'm going to put it right here. Isn't this just fun? I think this is such a fun video. La la 
Okay, hopefully I've not like torn this patch thing. Okay. Don't worry about ripping the package because the patch is tiny. Uh, and it kind of tears like this and I guess one part's sticky. Um, okay, so I'm putting it right here on my leg. And there we go. I do like that it's, it's at least clear. That's what the patch looks like. Uh, I'll check right now and make sure that it's still on my leg. And that's good. It appears that it is. I'm sorry, that wasn't the prettiest shot of my leg ever. Whew. All right. And then finally, I have Old Faithful, the Endometrin. Um, and uh, apparently, this time, I'll be inserting this three times a day, every day. Um, However, that won't start until either after the transfer, transfer or just before it. So the interesting thing today about my medications was that I received no instructions on um, what exactly I would be taking or how I would be taking it. Um, so I was told to go pick up the medication. I knew that I would be on an estrogen of some sort. My doctor said either tablets or the patch. Apparently both, that's fine. Um, and the endometrin, I knew that that was going to be part of my story this time. Um, so, but I didn't know how many pills I would be taking a day, when to change the patch, how often I would be using the endometrin, any of that. None of it had been discussed with me. And <coughs> today I happened to call my IVF clinic to make sure that they had received our payment on our, our account so that we could, could schedule my first monitoring appointment. And um, at that phone call, the nurse asked why I wasn't already taking the medication on cycle day one. Um, which was yesterday, and I told her that uh, it was just called in, <laughs> you know, at like 4 p.m. yesterday, and so I'm going to pick it up at the pharmacy today. Um, so she's like, oh, okay, um, and I said, so should I begin taking it right away? She goes, well, you'll only be able to get one dose in tonight. Yeah, but how how am I, you know, what am I taking, basically? And she was like, so, you know, you'll do the patch every every 72 hours, and then the pill you're going to do twice a day. Um, and then don't worry about the endometrin for right now, because you won't be starting that till later. And that's all well and good, but... Let me block this part out, but... Do you see the directions? Take by mouth, obviously, as directed. Nowhere in any of my information does it say what the directions are. My doctor didn't give me directions. And um, if I had not asked the nurse more specifically, I wouldn't know anything. So I, um, as a disclaimer, have really... Um, I love my doctor at Boston IVF. I think that most of the people that work there are wonderful people, um, particularly the lady who draws my blood. I really like her. Um, but I feel like the nurses don't communicate <laughs> to the patients. I felt this way during our first round of IVF um, that I was like kind of like pawing in the dark. Like, uh, what do I do, you know? Um, 
you know, with the endometrium. I am just now, while filming this video, realizing that I'll be taking it three times a day, as opposed to our, um, our previous cycle where I took it twice a day, or used it twice a day. Um, the patch, you know, I had no instruction about where to apply it. I found that in the paperwork um, after some digging because it doesn't, it doesn't say it right here. It just says apply topically and change every three days. So I just feel a little bit frazzled about all of this. Um, as far as pricing is concerned, I feel like um, we did a little bit better on pricing this time, mostly because we're not trying to harvest anything. We're just trying to get my body ready to transfer the frozen embryos into it. Um, so we have the Estradol patch, um, which I have eight of them. Um, we paid $70.70 and, and the retail price is, um, this is the patch, no, this is the other thing, that's the endometrin. Um, so the patch, we paid $70.70, and um, in the retail price for that is $130.69. So um, our plan did pay a little bit for that. So that's good. Um, for the endometrin, we paid uh, $307.69, um, and that's for $60. Um, inserts so that's a one is that a one month no that's like half a month supply I guess because I'll be doing it three times a day so that's for 60 of them at 100 milligrams the retail price on that is nine hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty three cents um, for the estradol estrogen pills um, we paid eight dollars and forty cents for those, and that was we got ninety pills. Um, I take those twice a day, so that's forty five. Forty five days, right? A month and a half. Um, yeah, and the retail price on those was ninety nine dollars and fourteen cents. So our total was three eighty six seventy nine. Um, not horrible in the land of IVF. Um, and so we're excited to get ready. It looks like my first monitoring, um, ultrasound appointment to see how my lining is coming along. It's going to be on October, on August 25th, um, which gives us a little bit of time. In the meantime, I can go ahead and, um, start my master's program. Um, why not just throw another thing in there, right? So very excited for this. I've got to run, um, but I will be back soon. I have a video coming up with um, some of my favorite things. I know I've been promising it for a while, um, but one of those items has changed and I haven't decided yet whether it's going to be a replacement or an addition. So, um, also I have a, um, a video coming up that has nothing at all to do with IVF, um, but it's going to be kind of more about something that's been on my heart recently. So there's a lot to come in the future. Um, now I've got to go pick up my husband. It's 11.05 p.m. and his flight gets into Boston at 1 a.m. So I have a hour and a half drive ahead of me. Um, hopefully there's no traffic today in Maine. There was traffic like Atlanta, and it was crazy. I feel like I spent the entire day in the car, and um, of the many things that we miss about living in Atlanta, that, the traffic, the commute, is not one of them for sure. But you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.